some exponent rules here. I see a to the negative one half is equal to x, and they want a in terms of x. That means they want us to get like an a equals. You can also tell that because all of my answers are just an x, there's no a. So a to the negative one, or just negative exponents in general, they want to go to the opposite side of the fraction they're in. So I just do my denominator of one, and what this flips to is one over a to the positive one half is equal to x. And then we also want to remember between exponent form and radical form. So if I kind of do this off to the side, so a to the one half into radical form. So remember that your numerator stays your numerator. So it's going to be a to the one. And then your denominator is the number that goes in the radical. So radicals are actually automatically a two here. So if you ever see a radical that doesn't have a number, that is a two. It's like inferred. So all we have to do is change this into one over a square root is equal to x over one. Uh, we set this up with fractions because I want to cross multiply. So it's going to be one is equal to square root of a times x. Divide both sides by x. And then finally, I just want to square everything to get rid of that square root. So square this, square this, and square this. And finally, it's just one over x squared is going to be equal to my a. And I can see that's x choice C here.